G'day guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. So in today's video, what I wanted to show you was how to build a hydrogen ship. So in a lot of my other videos, I've showed you um, things such as how many thrusters you need, how many, you know, how to fly hydrogen ships, um, how to figure out how much power you need and all that sort of thing. So I thought today what I would do is actually show you how to put all that together and then build a ship. So what I'm standing on is a ship that I've kind of been building. Um, so I haven't gotten too far with it, um, but I thought it would be a good idea to start with a hull and then you know fill it with all the components and then show you guys how to actually build it because I mean realistically you guys will probably design something a bit different to this um, or you know something like that um, there's many different ways you can design a ship but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this hull and then I'm going to fill it with all the components and then show you how to actually make a ship that can fly and is useful in survival mode all right, so what I'll do is I'll just first of all show you roughly how I got to this point. Um, so as you can see, the ship is very basic inside. It, it just has a few thrusters. Um, I haven't sealed anything in. I've just done like a basic design. Um, so it's just realistically just an empty hull. All right, so let's go over and have a look at the first ship that I started with. So, as you can see here, this is the first <laughs> ship that I started with. Um, I ended up scrapping it because I just didn't like the way it was going. So, we won't look at that one too long, and we'll move on to this one. Alright, so this is basically where I started fleshing out the design for the ones over there. Um, but basically, I just I figured the ship was way too wide. So, what I did is I took the blueprint, and I went up into space, and I basically cut it in half put some thrusters, some batteries on it, a cockpit, some merge blocks, and I just like cut it in half a couple of times until I was happy with the um, with the width of it. So basically to get to this point though, what I did was I just started out with a frame. So we'll just have a look at this. So basically I just built this kind of 2D frame here, and then I just extended that out from that point and then from there I was able to you know get this shape and then you know design something from that and then put some put a thruster here and then all that sort of stuff so we move over to this one and as you can see this one this is like another you know step in the design so I wanted the ship to be a fair bit longer than what it ended up being so I came up with this shape but I just couldn't really get it to work and then this is where I kind of stepped it up a little bit, um, put a cockpit on the top, and then, yeah, I tried to make the thrusters extend outwards at the back, but yeah, it was a little bit hard to get it to work and make look look right. So yeah, I just didn't really bother with that. And then finally, we got to about this point, and I'm starting to really flesh out the design of the hull here. And then I decided just to chop the nose off and then make a design that was very similar to this one here that you might have seen in my previous video. So yeah. And then finally, so I did all this in space and then what I did is I ended up putting some legs on the bottom so I had something for the ship to stand on. And then, yeah, this was kind of the final design And then now we're at this point here. So this <clears throat> this is basically where we're at now. So as you can see, I haven't really done too much. I've put a thruster in the front there. Um, I've put a large ion thruster here, and I've kind of built these. I don't know what you would call it, but I like these metal areas around the thrusters, and I think it looks pretty cool. Um, so. I'll just go have a look at the back here. So at the back I've done kind of the same thing. You know, just put these things in here to make it look, you know, a little bit decent. So it's very similar to the design of my Atlas. As you can see, I've done kind of the same thing here. 
So with this ship, I'm not gonna like reinvent the wheel and ooh, whoops. I'm not gonna reinvent the wheel and make a completely new design. Um, I think what I'll do instead is just yeah show you guys how to make something that's functional. And yeah, we're just gonna start from this bare bones ship. All right, so let's. So I'll probably just cut the video here for a second and I'll get rid of all these other ships. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start building the ship. All right guys, well, let's get started building this ship. All right, so what we're gonna do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to seal up these engines. So obviously, <laughs> you know, being a spaceship, this thing needs to be airtight. So let's go ahead and do that. So with these hydrogen thrusters, for some reason they're different colors, so let's just color them all properly. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place some blocks around them like this. Right, so just like that. Do the same with this one. And you see we've got a bit of a hollow space there, but I mean technically it's been filled by the engine, so and then we'll do the same with this one. Cool. So then what I need to do is seal it this way. And you can see what I'm going to try and do is put like a door probably here or something. So I've left a little bit of a gap and obviously we need one block space to um, seal up one, the other side of the engine. Um, so yeah, I've left a three block gap between the engines at the back. So that might be something you want to do. All right, so let's go and have another look. So. I think what I want to do is just add in some conveyors. Because I'm OCD, they need to be facing the right way around. <laughs> Let's chuck them in. Right, so what I want to do with this ship is very similar to the Atlas and put, or try and put like three large hydrogen engines facing downwards here you know, to give it a total of six, you know, obviously three on each side. Um, so yeah, let's see if we can fit them in. So, uh, my problem is I can't put it right up against that engine because if I do that, I'm not gonna be able to access the port. All right, so. I have to put it there. That sucks. So I might just have to live with that. Right, so I can only fit really two in there. Let's just go outside and see how that looks. might have to put another two large hydrogen thrusters up the front. So 
basically these things uh, can lift about 7.2 million or 7.2 mega newtons so basically it's about 720,000 kilos each um, so yeah I'd love this thing to lift around 7 million kilos so I need enough thrusters to be able to do that although we don't need to lift that much that's just what I want it to be able to lift so maybe we can put another to like here or something. Oh no, I can't put them there because. All right, let's put a couple of blocks here. So we can actually mount it. <coughs> Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Um, it looks good from the outside. I would like it to be a bit further up though, to be honest. Um, maybe I can put him here, like right, right at the front. So maybe do it like, you know, right next to that thruster there. Cause then it's not taking up so much space. But then I did actually want to put <coughs> some more iron thrusters at the front, so. Hmm. This is the fun of building ships. Oops, let's fill this hole back in. Um, in fact, how. Just leave those thrusters there and then put in some maybe some small hydrogen thrusters and then uh, some small uh, iron thrusters here or um, maybe instead what I could do is move that remove that put in one of these block do I need to remove these ones build on that um, so oh yeah, yeah I see what's going on there oh, cool so that's gonna be the front I reckon and then these thrusters at the back here And 
so what I'll do is I'll just cut out the position where they are. So whereabouts are they? About here. <laughs> Pretty close. Alright, so what's that? Eight thrusters, so what does that work out to be? Let me just pull out my calculator here. Eight times seven point two. So it should be able to lift now about fifty uh, five point seven million kilos. But I mean this ship is a fair bit smaller than what my last ship was, so maybe that will be enough. So yeah, you can see there's the four thrusters there, and then these thrusters at the front. I think that looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to probably extend this around these pieces here, around here, and then I'm just going to color them in like um, the battered armor. So let's just seal these things in a bit more. Because we want, um, obviously, as I said before, we want the ship to be airtight. Let's just make sure it's put in those blocks. Sometimes, like, if you're building a ship, you get too close in the middle here. Like, you can get in the way of the, placing the block on the other side. So you just got to be careful of that sometimes. And then you go back and you realise that, you know, it hasn't actually placed half the blocks down. Alright, so... Let's leave that part exposed and maybe what we can do is connect the engines there. So I need to basically seal the top as well. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to like pop a hole here because like wherever there's an engine or something like that, you can actually... that. Well, that might actually be a pretty good location for a gun or something. So you can use that port there on the back of the engine if it's connected up to the conveyor system and we can chuck a gun on the top here or something like that. So yeah, and then um, I think though, if I do the same on the front, then it's going to pop out like there or something like that. And you can see it like I've already pre-put some holes here for some weapons, but yeah, sometimes it doesn't work out because, you know, just the way you place the engines and, you know, it's just too hard to try and get a conveyor system there, so. Alright, um. So now that we've got those engines done. <coughs> In fact, what I might do. Let's get rid of that. You could use half blocks here, but I think for the moment I'm just going to use these. basically want to do number six so if if you want to pick up like another color just um hold the block over a block um like so i want to pick up this color right so i just press shift p and then that just changes the color to the block that i want so what i'm going to do is set up like this Hmm. 
You know, I probably could have gotten away with that engine being one block further forward. Uh, I'll see how it looks and then we'll go from there. So, alright, let's put... Two by one slope. And we can do like so. I could go and put these here like this. In fact, that actually doesn't look half bad. Maybe if I like get rid of those, what's that look like? Looks mm. alright. All we can do. doesn't really matter. Like I said, most of this video is just about actually plumbing all this stuff up and making it work. Alright, so with that in mind, let's actually start doing that. Um, so, we'll start with these rear engines here. So again, we've got to kind of seal them up, but I think what I might try and do instead is... So these, these engines are basically sitting on top there. So I don't really need them anymore. What I do want to do though is I want to put some side thrusters in. So yeah. Chuck some thrusters in there. Maybe not right there, I'll chuck. So how many? One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, we can fit five thrusters in there. So let's do that. So we've got five thrusters on the side. And I'm probably just gonna chuck another couple at the front here as well. So soon find out like and one thing I started doing differently with this ship is um, obviously you can see I'm using a fair few ion thrusters so look I mean when it comes to landing on planets and that sort of thing hydrogen thrusters are your go-to thruster like they have you know the most thrust out of any thruster and um, so as far as landing on planets that's what I'm going to use you know for that and then, you know, for the sideways thrusters, um, the top thrusters especially, I'm going to use, uh, you know, and frontwards and backwards, I'm going to use a lot of ion. Um, so they're not really going to be that effective in atmosphere, but where they will be effective is in space. So I think they will definitely, um, yeah, help out with the fuel consumption. Because one of the things I want to do with this ship is I want to put in less than, you know, the last ship I built had about 26 hydrogen tanks and 
it was probably a little bit too many because it became a pain to try and fill it to be honest with you and it it just performs so well that it doesn't really need that many tanks so what we're going to do is just chuck in some conveyors here <coughs> Put in some T junctions here. Or some 90 degree elbows, actually. Um, and then what I might do is I might just put some blocks in here just to, you know, kind of give it a bit of strength. Make it a little bit more resilient. So. It's not going to cost us too much weight either way, so let's just do that. Alright, so that's done. Let's connect up these rear engines. So we can do that by using these tubes. So in fact, what I might do is steal the, this colour for these tubes. Give them a more industrial look. So that's all connected because these engines are connected to this. Although what we could do is we could put in a conveyor junction here. And then that would give us a little bit of redundancy. So let's chuck on there. Let's put a straight in there. Let's go like this. Maybe what I might do is. Oh no, I can't. We could actually leave this area exposed and like put a door here or something, you know, so we can get in here and repair all these parts. Um, nah, I think what I'll do is I'll leave that for the centre part here. Um, I would like to be able to get in here and repair these things, but I would need to put a wall right across there seal this part up as like a individual pod oh, let's just see what that does so let's just see how much space we end up with after we do that You know what? <clears throat> I'm going to grab some lights. So sometimes like when you grab things on the hot bar, you see how it's got like this little plus sign here. So if you grab that one, then you can build all these lights just by using like the scroll wheel. So if I go number three, use my scroll wheel on my mouse, I can actually build you know, multiple different interior lights. So Let's just, you know, put a couple along the hull just so we can see what we're doing. Yeah. Um, and, you know, like, I'll probably end up getting rid of all these lights later on, but it's so dark in here. Um, Ah, that, that should do. Right, so let's just chuck down like a battery or something so we can give those lights some power. Um, you know, I might just chuck this in the cockpit because it's not really going to get used there. I'm not going to do anything with the cockpit for a while. 
as you can see I've already put a control C in here so let's go to the lights I like to set them up like this color for some reason it's just like a little nice blue <coughs> set the offset uh, fall off I set to about 2.0. Fine, this is like a pretty good thing. So with the offset, that's basically like the light is offset five meters from the actual block itself. So that should, you know, extend the light out a fair bit. And uh, it gives us, ah, yes, much better. Now we have some light. So as you can see, we've got a fairly decent size interior to work with here, so. But one of the things we got to do is we got to build a ramp from the bridge all the way down here so we can access all these parts just by walking through the ship. Um, well, I mean, you don't really have to, but that's just the way I like to design my ships, I guess. So let's just clear a block out here so we can get into here. So what I'll do is I'll actually seal up these engines properly so when you're looking at it from the other side it looks pretty good and I'll show you what I mean in a second so just grab this color here uh, I'll go back in here and we'll just go like let's put in some blocks here <laughs> I was not expecting that some half blocks in here because then I can get past the half blocks and you know still repair these components but then still like kind of seal off the engine so let's just do that um, let's put a block there like that create a connection between this, this engine. Um, so how did I do that up here? Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to chuck this block here. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Let's just put another one in there. seal this up I'm going to change this to conveyors tight in here, I can't move. Yeah, let's replace all this with conveyors. access all of this and it's all we could actually have a door and make this airtight oh no we can't because of this walkway that we're going to have here so yeah that's a bit of a shame oh no deleted a block 
Be careful of like that. So, let's place that block back that I deleted before. Grab the color. Right, so now we've got like a nice little walkway. Um, the only problem is I don't have any lights in here, so when I come in here, it's going to be fairly dark. Um, I might chuck a light in here somewhere. That's right, that's just something we've got to figure out later. Right, so, let's put in some hydrogen tanks and then, um, so I'll see how many I can fit in. Usually what I like to do is put in about, oh, like two high. So, you know, like one there and then another there. So, does that actually work? Sixteen hydrogen tanks. I think, to be honest with you, I think that should be heaps for this ship. <coughs> um, all right, let's go and connect these to the engines and then see. So obviously, we've got our. I think what I might do. Block, put in a conveyor, I'll make it, I might make this all black. Let's grab the color of these hydrogen tanks and let's put in a tube or two. The reason why I'm putting them up here is because then I'll be able to create like a, a walkway that comes up here and then we'll go through here and then we'll be able to access these parts here to um, fix them up if we have to. So let's, <coughs> I could place another, um, yeah in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a conveyor here. And then I'm gonna put another one there. And then I'm just gonna run like, I'll just put another one there. That, that actually might, mightn't look too bad. Yeah, cool. So what I can do is to make it look a little bit more interesting is just put some tubes in here. Just go back and then yeah, check another tube in there. Uh, so the ship's got power. So I think now, because these hydrogen tanks actually have some fuel in them because they're in creative mode. Um, yeah, we can see that all these thrusters are now powered up. The thrusters on the bottom should be as well. <coughs> Beautiful. And the one at the front should be too. Cool. So that means we've got all of this side's thrusters plumbed up to the hydrogen tanks and we've got 16 hydrogen tanks in this ship so like, I don't know if you guys remember in the last video um, the Atlas probably used something like 5% of its fuel reserves to land on them like you know to go from Earth to Mars um, admittedly like that was only at you know, three million kilos, so it wasn't its full weight. But I think I got to the planet only using about nine or ten percent of its fuel. So 
Um, and that ship had 26 hydrogen tanks. So I think 16 should be, you know, plenty for this ship. And, you know, maybe if we have some more room up the front later on, you know, we can chuck a couple here or something and then, you know, do that. So, <clears throat> all right. So what I want to probably do now is how much space. So now I just want to hook up these rear engines. Um, just grab some conveyors. So again, I'm just going to use tubes here and then, yeah, we'll just like, uh, I'll have to go from this side and actually go onto the end of this tube before it will let us place one in a decent spot. Let's chuck one there. Let's go up. And then across. Cool. Now we have those engines working as well. Actually, it looks pretty cool. <clears throat> Stupid time of day. Let's turn some weather off. Alright. That's had a bit of an idea. Uh, let's quickly change this. sidetracked <laughs> as you do when you're building ships um, all right cool so what are we a little bit of space there that we could use what's on the other side of this oh yeah the engine pod let's chuck a thing back in there hole that we put in there before I don't think we're actually going to be able to get in there so let's put one here let's go in here and then just So, what I'm going to have to do is put in some conveyors here. Make them same color. Sealed up. Mm. Using a lot of space in this ship though, just for this stuff, so I might just turn it down a little bit and then let's sort of hook all this stuff up and see how we go after that. Um, in fact, what I might do is I might just chuck some jump drives in here and just see what sort of space these things will take up. Oh yeah, we've got a nice little cut out there where we can just, you know, 
Actually, that will might work out quite good because if I can put the jump drive there, then I might be able to fit like a doorway there. So let's put another one there. Oh, delete that light. It's like eight jump drives, which is pretty darn good. And it leaves us with like a floor underneath here and a floor above them. And in fact, I could probably go one in like that and just make like a walkway like I did in the other ship that goes straight through them. And then I can access the other side of those jump drives. So what's on the other side of this? It's about there where the jump drives are, I reckon. Let's just confirm that theory. Yeah, that's exactly where they are. So, um, I'll probably end up putting like a door here or something. And then I would love to put a connector and a merge block or like a merge block and that sort of jazz there just so like I can dock it up to things that's one of the things I never really did in my other ships but I really wanted to do um, but yeah so I really like to incorporate that into this design um, alright yeah so let's um Chuck a couple of blocks like down here. In fact, what I'm going to start doing is using interior blocks. Um, I'm going to use these sci fi interior walls because I think they look pretty cool. I'm going to turn mirror mode off because um, sometimes when you're using mirror mode, um, Like the other side, it's it, it doesn't look the same. So let's chuck that one there. Purely putting, uh, let's put mirror mode back on so we can. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just chuck the jump drives on the edge here. The reason why I'm using interior blocks now is because um, oh, okay, that's different. So I might have to mix that up a little bit. I might just randomize that a little bit later. Right, anyway, let's um, surge on ahead and let's chuck in some jump drives. Right now, it'll let me play somewhere I want. Mirror mode. In fact, I'm not making this color.
make something out of this. Um, does this interior of this ship actually has quite a bit of space? Now, why is that not working anymore? Oh, yeah, all right. Yeah. Because of these, um, these jump drives are now installed in the ship, they're taking like 32 megawatts, I think it is, each. So you need to have like a ton of batteries to be able to power them. And that's why everything on the ship isn't working properly. So let's go into our K menu. Um, let's have a look at the jump drive. Yeah, so it takes like 32 megawatts to charge. Um, current input 1.5. So I think we need something like, you know, 24, 25, 26 batteries or something to power all of those. But this ship's probably going to need to have somewhere in the range of like 30, maybe 35 or something if I want the thing to be able to run off batteries. Um, so yeah, there's that. So what do we do next? All right. Let's try and get some... Piping from the front to the back. Um, what's down here? Could put a few thrusters here, right? Eh? And then, um, I don't know if that would look too good without it being. Yeah. Uh, I could put some thrusters there, but I'm just not sure if I will. No, I'll just leave it for now. And then later on, if I want to put some thrusters there, I can. Might actually like you know bulge it out a little bit so there's like another block worth of armor there or something like that. Give it a bit more of a shape. Um, right, so we need to connect this to this, and then I'll probably run a pipe. So let's just run a pipe from. No, let's put a conveyor here. one there or no let's do this let's I want them to be this color so let's just do this here instead. Still not enough. 
enough batteries. <laughs> How many is that? That's like... could do as well is just put like a um in fact what I'm gonna do as well right is I'm going to put a I'm gonna put a conveyor junction here and then I'm gonna put some piping here how much um, power this ship is using it's pretty pretty insane oh, looks like the weather's starting to roll in as well all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like as you can see I've got this connection here to the thrusters at the front um, and that connects to you know these thrusters at the bottom here at the front so they're powered up now GG. Um, and I'd like to create like a little bit of redundancy so if these ever get damaged um, then it's going to be a little bit hard for everything to be um, oh, what's the word yeah obviously you're going to lose the thrusters if, if this pipe gets damaged so we create like a little bit of redundancy then that might be pretty helpful so what I can do is go in here I'm just gonna put jump drives charge up then we should be able to see if everything is hooked. oh no the pipes work so that's fine um, let's go back in here and let's seal up that hole I already have cool awesome all right so just take a look at what we've got done. All right, so we've done the rear thrusters, the side thrusters, that front thruster there, those side thrusters there, and we've got these all the bottom thrusters working as well. So now the only thing really left to do, let's get rid of this annoying weather, is set up the thrusters on the top. Oh, that is so much better myself think now uh, yeah so all we got to do really next is just you know put the thrusters on the top get them hooked up and then you know we're in a pretty good position um, to get this ship finished and then after that you know it's just making it look pretty um, which is something that is very time-consuming um, 
but yeah, it's definitely worth it, I guess. Alright. So. Yeah, obviously I want to put in some large cargo containers as well. So where's our... Now in one of my other ships I had like six of them. Um, <clears throat> that's probably a little bit too many to be honest. Can't chuck them there. Might have to put the cargo containers here like this. Or like I think with the thrusters that we have available to us, we're only really going to be able to lift four of these anyway um, when they're full of stuff. So, yeah, I just don't know where to put them though. Um, well, I think what I'm going to do instead, now that we've got you know a lot of the interior in and working and all that sort of stuff. I think what I'll need to do is um, put in some access from the bridge down to the lower levels and then I can figure out the cargo system around that and then also create like the entry from the rear and then from there I can kind of figure out where I can chuck these cargo containers um, because like I said before I want to put in some um, I want to put in some refineries and assemblers and that sort of thing as well. So I want to make this like a survival ship, but, um, and if we're lucky, we might even have enough room to put like a little hangar in the front, but I don't know if I'll do that. Uh, we'll just see how we go. So yeah, the main thing is just getting this ship flying and functional and all that sort of stuff. So I think I'm just going to end the video here. So in I'm going to do another episode shortly. Um, in the next episode, obviously, I'll cover all the things that I discussed. So I think the first thing we'll do in the next episode is build some access from the bridge down to the lower levels. And then from there, we're going to um, put in the cargo containers and then sort out the top thrusters. Um, you know, start getting the interior really fleshed out, make it look nice and all that sort of stuff. So thanks for watching guys. I hope this video was useful for you. Definitely consider subscribing and liking the video and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks guys. See ya.